So this is a mixed canopy of trees. There's ash and, sorry, beach. This is beach, this is an ash here. And I hung a bird box on this ash tree, hoping that it's gonna be here for a long, long time. And we put that up there a few years ago. But I've come along, I always check these things out, and I've discovered it has this awful split here. Now this split, when you follow it down, you can see it's beginning to get a bit of rot in it. And here it's really beginning to rot. Now, initially this was a horse bark, this tree, just on the edges here. But you can see here the woodworm is getting in. If you come down further, you have this fungus which lives off of the dying of the wood. And then down here, you have dead man's fingers. So these are dead man fingers, which show that it's, th these are eating the root and decomposing the root underneath. So it comes all the way down here. You can see there's dead man fingers here as well. So the dead man fingers show that this ash tree is dying. At the moment, it's protected uh, from too much storm damage because it's in the woods. You can see it's surrounded by other trees that will protect it from wind. All these trees here, all around, will protect it from too much wind. But it's a tree I'll have to keep an eye on and I might well have to take the bird box off and place it somewhere else because I don't want it to kill the, um, I don't want the tree when it falls, when it finally dies, to do in my bird box. So you can see the rot going all the way down. And there's the dead man fingers. Oh look, and a kitty. Yes, time, you're very involved, as is Inca. Very involved in seeing all these things. But you can see how tiny dead man's fingers are. They're tiny, tiny, tiny. But they're beautiful, a beautiful mushroom. Absolutely gorgeous mushroom.